States of America. Here we go again, people. We the people of Rhode Island. Freedom of Speech TV show here. Nostalgia's 557 Warwick Ave, Warwick, Rhode Island. We're here. We're a Freedom of Speech uh, TV show, advocacy group, uh, social action program. Um, this right here, the U.S. Constitution, the supreme law of the land. Uh, First Amendment rights, that's what it's about. Freedom of speech, using your voice. It's the strongest weapon that we have. Um, there's, uh, we're, you know, a, a, an internal enemy that is just eroding this Constitution bit by bit. Um, excuse me here. Uh, our voices are our strongest weapon. All these political and media grandstanders have a platform to uh, get their voices out. We're the common man. This is uh, a start. This is where we're going to try and start and get things going. Um, I don't need these political and media grandstanders speaking for me. I can speak for myself. And tonight, the cover charge in this place, we don't charge a cover charge. The cover charge in this place was paid by our U.S. soldiers who shed their blood in defense of this Constitution. 250 years, soldiers, starting from the Gatsby all the way up to tanks and missiles in Iraq soon to be Iran, all that stuff. This is, this is, cover charge has been paid by those guys. So stand up and say something. I mean, this is, our rights are being taken away. So come up here and say something. Uh, everybody's got something to say. Um, it won't be much longer, you know, what we're doing here tonight in some countries, uh, you know, they'll chop your head off. Well, they'll take you in the middle of a soccer field uh, in front of 30,000 people and shoot you in the head. But this is what uh, makes our country the greatest country to be in. For now, there's lots of things happening where we might not have the right to stand in front of this Constitution and do what we're doing right now. So if anybody has anything to say, step right up. Thanks to Chris and Joe for letting us uh, do this here. Dave the sound man. And, uh, the mic is open. Stand up here and uh, express your First Amendment right. How's it going, everybody? We got Andrew David from Branson here. He has a few things on his mind. We're going to see what's going on. What do you want to talk about, Andrew? Uh, the Iraqi war. Uh, the, uh, what bothers me is that we're putting so much money into Iraq and Iraq's not doing anything for us in return such as gas prices and helping with so, so many soldiers are dying in Iraq and gas prices is like over four dollars a gallon and that bothers me. We're putting a million dollars a day in, into Iraq and we're not getting anything in return. Right? In, in return, yeah, exactly. So you think that seeing that we're, we're trying to fight for their freedom over there, we're losing our freedom over here, you think that they should kind of, you know, give us a little uh, little help on the, you know, on the, on the petroleum or... Our, uh, petroleum, yes. It's called a um, uh, quid pro quo, which means they should give us leniency on, on our gas prices. Why don't you think that's happened? Well, uh, because they think they're selfish. They think, well, let's... That country gets to be where it's going to be free. I think they're going to use the uh, gas prices as them. They're going to become like the Saudis and become an empire and not help us all gas. So the, gas uh, the, the petroleum is the ace in the hole for them. So that uh, they, they, they got the puppet strings as far as that goes. Exactly. So how do we change that? Do we just say screw them and uh, like leave Iraq or? Well, I had a really insane idea that we should have taken over the country when we first got there and taken over all the oil wells and made the country part of America, make it a state of America, kind of. Make the country a state of America. How do you think the rest of the world would think about that, or do you care? I wouldn't care because Americans are hurting so much 
at the gas pumps that any help we get will will be a great help for us financially and it will help all people. I refuse to vote for Obama unless he chooses Hillary Clinton as his running mate. If he does not, then I'm voting Republican. Despite um, the fact that John McCain would keep us in this war, I feel more comfortable having our country in the hands of someone a little bit more experienced who was actually in the Senate when they made the war vote. Hey, I just wanted to call and say uh, we the people's doing a great job and uh, can't wait to see some more episodes out there and uh, inform the public on, on certain issues. It's, it's going well. I like it and uh, can't wait to see it again. Good job. God bless America. My name is Jay Alvarez. I'd like to add on this is a great show about the uh, immigration situation. I think all illegal aliens that have been found with criminal crimes should be deported. Those that are hard workers should pay a fine and uh, should stay because, you know, they're providing for the community and the economy. Thank you very much. And once again, God bless America. My name's Adam. I'm from Warwick. And I got a few things to say. I got a few things to say about freedom. I got a few things to say about national security. About taking your shoes off at the airport. About talking on the phone and wondering if somebody's listening. And I want to start off with a short quote from Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was a really intelligent man, a guy who spoke seven languages fluently. Uh, although this, edu this guy's education ended formally at age 10, he went on to found the world's first insurance company. This guy invented bifocals. This guy bartered between nations. He was a really smart guy, and if he had something to say, I believe that people should listen to him. And he said, and I quote, any nation that's willing to give up a little liberty for a little security deserves neither and loses both. Now that was said about 200 years ago, and that's exactly what's happening to our nation now. And if people don't want to listen to that, I feel sorry for them. See, we're giving up our freedoms to protect ourselves from threats that nobody has proven to even exist. Nobody's shown us the evidence. They've shown us five different pictures of the enemy, and none of them match. We're giving up everything. And if this continues, we're going to lose our freedoms, and we're going to lose our security. This has to stop somewhere. And that's my stand. Thank you. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.